Welcome back Commodore fans. In today's video I'm doing a follow-up to my previous video about basic compilers, except this time I'll be using a Commodore 128. The compiler I'll be using is the basic 128 compiler by Abacus Software. This is the 128 version of the basic 64 compiler by the same company. I'll still be using a quick sort demo program but instead of Petsky, I'll use the 128's built-in graphic commands to create a graphical line sort. I won't be showing any of the compiling processes in this video. It is very nearly the same as shown in the previous one. Check it out if you're interested. First off though, let's see how the 128 does with the Petsky sort. On the disk I have the original unmodified QSortB program and a basic 128 compiled version that was compiled with the machine language integer only optimizer as that option proved to be the fastest previously. Let's start with the basic only version. I'll fast forward while this runs so we don't have to wait too long. sixty seven point two five seconds twenty one seconds more than the sixty four version that's a thirty two percent decrease in speed that's kinda of disappointing i mean you spend the extra bucks for the one twenty eight only to have it run slower in its native basic language alright moving on let's try the compiled machine language integer version and see how it compares Here's what a list of a basic 128 compiled program looks like. It just uses a basic stub with the sys command, but also does some cursor trickery to hide the sys command and only leave the name of the product showing. Pretty clever. One point seven six seconds. Okay, that's much better, and it is comparable to the 64's one point five three seconds. Okay, enough Petsky stuff. Let's move on to the graphical versions. I've taken the original QSort B program, modified it for BASIC 7, and saved it as QSort G. We'll look at it shortly. I've also used the BASIC 128 compiler to create a default P code version, a P code integer version, and a machine language integer version. Okay, let's load QSort G and take a look at the modifications. This version will use the standard bitmap mode. We'll be sorting 159 items, which is represented as an array of integers. We read the data into the array and then use those values to draw the lines. We then display a message and wait for the user to press the space bar and set the clock to zero. The quick sort routine is the same as before. The only difference here is that we are sorting an array of items and using the draw command to erase and redraw the lines. When the sort is complete, the elapsed time is calculated and displayed. And as before, I've created a randomized data set of numbers that I've used for each version. Alright, enough talk. Let's get to the speed test. It starts by drawing the lines and then waits for me to press the spacebar to start. I'll fast forward the video here so we don't have to wait too long. The graphical version really demonstrates how the sort is working internally and is kind of mesmerizing to watch, I think. Okay, we're finished, and it took 93.08 seconds. Next is the BASIC 128 default P code version. Hmm, doesn't seem to be going a whole lot faster. and finished. 49.25 seconds. Okay, that's only about 1.9 times faster than the basic version. Not very impressive. Let's move on to the P-Code 
integer version. And still it doesn't look like it's working any faster. Okay, 46.66 seconds. Small improvement. That's barely two times faster than the basic version. Last up is the machine language integer version. Oh my, a dismal 43.8 seconds. Just a little over two times faster. Well, this was disappointing. Not really the dramatic speed increase I was hoping for using bitmap graphics. I wonder if other 128 compilers have any better results when using the built-in graphic commands. I'm guessing probably not. So those ideas of writing a graphical game in BASIC and then compiling it for speed will have to be scrapped. Stick to machine language when creating games, everyone. Okay, that's all I have for today. Thanks for watching, and as always, be careful out there.